You know, for the, the last 11 years, I've been proud to call Impact Wrestling my home. And as small children, we all have dreams and aspirations to grow up and be something big, to do something with our lives. And for the last 17 years, I have proudly lived my dream as a professional wrestler. To be able to put on a pair of boots, walk the aisle, get in the ring, and perform in front of great wrestling fans like each and every one of you. But with that being said, there's a lot of things in my career that I'm not proud of. You know, you think I was a ruthless son of a gun out here. You should have seen the way I acted backstage. I ruined friendships. I destroyed alliances, but you know what? Those are things I can't go back in history and change. I can't change what I've done. The only thing that I can do is change my future. And that's why I'm uh, here tonight. Tonight is my last night as a professional wrestler. What? I can't do it anymore. I can't. Look at you. You don't understand. I, for the last several months, I've looked at myself in the mirror, and all I see is hate. I hate myself. Every, for the last several weeks, I've had to come in and walk into Dixie Carter's office and listen to her and put up with her crap. And I can't take it anymore. I can't do it. I have to walk away. I can't be here anymore and I'm sorry. Please hear me out. Before I go, I want to do something that I've never done ever in my career. And I want to, I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you. This guy's in the prime of his career. What the hell is he doing? I mean, we, we had heard the rumors and the speculation. We just did, oh, didn't want to believe wait. it. Mike, maybe. It's a TNA president, Dixie Carter. She may have been the one that pushed him over the cliff. who says when you can leave. Dixie, Dixie, look at you don't understand. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm done. Well, you don't get to make that call, okay? Jeff Hardy, Sting, AJ Styles. I didn't want any of them in my company. But Bobby, Bobby, I need you. Do you need me? TNA needs you. You need me? Yes. You need me yes. for what? To break more promises to? Huh? 
to protect your little champion? Listen, listen, you just did something for the first time and I'm about to too. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I have been dealing with so much stuff around here with this investor trying to take advantage of me at every turn. That's not my problem, Bobby, Dixie. Bobby, Bobby. You don't get it. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to work for you anymore. Bobby, you are a wrestler. What are you gonna do, huh? It is in your blood, Bobby. Listen, listen, lockdown is going to be the most important night in this company's history, but more importantly, in my professional career, Bobby. Operations of the wrestling business of this company are on the line in lethal lockdown. And I have to have a captain for my team that is gonna want that victory as bad as I do, Bobby. And I want you to captain my team. Oh, wait a minute. You're asking me to captain your team. After everything you have done to me, after all the broken promises, why would I do that? Why should I trust you for anything? Listen, Bobby, this is not, this is not about a world title shot, okay? I need you to have a vested interest in winning this match, in bringing that victory to me and to you, okay? You know what? I am willing to give you 10, 10% of TNA. Ownership, Bobby. Oh. Think about it. Ownership. That is how important this match is, Bobby. 10% ownership in TNA. Let me get this straight. So you're asking me to captain your team at Lethal Lockdown. And if my team is victorious, you're telling me that you and I become business partners? No, I'm saying you are going to own part of TNA, Bobby. That's what I'm saying. Why should I believe you? Listen, you get your own lawyers to drop this contract, okay? All my lawyers. So all I gotta do is get my lawyers to draw something up. I present it to you, you sign it, no questions asked. On a stack of Bibles, in front of a judge, in front of witnesses, anything. Come on, Bobby. It can change everything, Bobby. Everything you wanted to do in wrestling, this is it. You've worked for this your whole career. We win. And I become an owner. Yes. You have a deal. Wow. But just remember, if you think for one second that you're gonna screw me over, I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to destroying yours. Well, I guess money talks. Holy smokes. Yeah, Rude, not only a wrestler, but a businessman driving a hard bargain, insisting that Dixie Carter give him 10% of ownership of TNN Impact Wrestling if, if he's his a captain. If his team wins at Lethal Lockdown, Bobby would have some juice. He'd have control. 